Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan, if you're new here, and I am a homeschool mom of six kids. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what is in my six kids Christmas stockings. So today's video is actually a collaboration with my friend Rachel over at Day to Day Joys, and it's a bunch of other mamas on this playlist sharing what is in the Christmas stockings for their kids. So if you're looking for ideas, make sure to check out the playlist down below. If you are new to my channel or new since last Christmas season, I do want to let you know just a little quick background about how we handle presents in our home. It's been this way since before our first son was born. My husband and I decided that we were going to do only three gifts that represent the three gifts that the wise men brought. Each one has a significance of the gold frankincense and myrrh and if you want to hear more about that I will link last year's video down below but also stay tuned and click that subscribe button because I will be sharing what three gifts we got our kids this year as well so let's get started with what is in my kids Christmas stockings so as far as stockings go I try not to spend any more than $15 total on each child's Christmas stocking. Sometimes I get away with with much lower than that. It kind of just depends on the year and what I find that fits each child. I just try to kind of get the same amount of things or at least things that are gonna fit in the stocking. So the first thing that is always in my kids' Christmas stockings is gold chocolate coins. That was always in mine as a child. The other thing that is always in each one of their stockings is in the toe of their stocking. We carry on the tradition that my grandma carried on with us, which is every single year in the toe of the stocking, there is an orange and an apple. That is all carried over from that Great Depression era. My grandma always did that for us as well. And so that's just a tradition that I carry on here. So I'm going to get started with sharing what's in these stockings. I'm going to start with my boys first. I will tell you how old they are and then show you what I got each one. So I'm going to start with, it looks like, not my oldest son. I was going to start with the oldest, but I'll start with my second oldest. Um, he is going to be nine in February, and so this is what is in his stocking. So the first thing is there are these little fruit leather strip things. Um, I got some of those, a couple of boxes, and just split them up between all the stockings. Um, and so those are in there. And then also, I found this. He's really into Mandalorian. So at Target, they had this. Um, it was just in like their stocking stuffer section. But it's a little um, Mandalorian and Baby Yoda, aka the child, um, Pez dispensers with a bunch of Pez. So he is going to love that. Um, he loves Pez. Um, the next thing is he loves gum and he has like this M&M machine <laughs> that he got from his papa that he can also put gumballs in. And they had this box of Christmas gumballs and it was like a dollar. So I went ahead and got that as well. I knew he would really like that. Then, of course, his gold coins, and I don't have his apple and orange yet. I'm going to wait until closer to Christmas. And then the last thing is I always try to get them some sort of book. And so he has this dog diaries, and it's about Stubby. If your kids, he's really into, like, war um, books and army men and all that kind of stuff. And so this particular one is about Sergeant Stubby, which is... Maybe your kids have seen the movie. There's a movie about Sergeant Stubby, but um, it's, it's, it's just kind of like the story from the dog's point of view. Okay, so my next son um, is my oldest. He is 10, and um, I also have the three fruit leathers and his, the gold coins and his, um, and then he loves Legos. I... <laughs> loves Legos and his whole life he has always loved trains. When I was at the checkout at Target I actually saw just this little Lego set that makes a train and I know he will actually really really like that. It's just like a small little Lego thing to put together with all of the big Legos he has and um, so I got him that. And he loves Oreos so I got him that as well. 
And then I also got him, I found these on clearance at Walmart. They're compatible with Legos, but like you can twist and turn and stuff like that. I just thought that would be fun and interesting. So I got him that. And then his book is actually um, one that takes place. It's, uh, oh, okay. So apparently he was George Washington's dog. So um, this is the one that he has. Both of my older boys have been really into our U.S. history this year, and so, and they love dogs. They love animals, so I thought they would really like that, or he would really like that. Okay, so my next son is seven, and um, so this is what's in his. He, of course, again, has the fruit leathers, and the reason that I got these is this is not actually something I would normally buy. Not that they're unhealthy or anything. It's just I have a lot of kids, and when you buy snacks like this, they're gone in a flash. You normally just get like actual fruit for snacks. So that's why I got these. It's kind of just a special treat. One of his favorite candies is um, these Nerds ropes. So I got him one of those. I also got him these. I thought this was so funny. If you know anything about Mandalorian, they had these, um, the child gummies. And the gummies are actually um, the little frogs. I don't know if you can see that or not. The little frogs that he eats on the show and I thought he would love that so I got him that and then I got him this was actually in the stocking stuffer section at Target he loves Nerf guns and stuff like that that this would be like a, a fun little one for him as well um, and then for his book so I got him from the Humphrey series it's Humphrey's Tawny Tales it's Humphrey's Pet Show Panic um, and I think he will really like this this is kind of a more easy read chapter book and he is starting to get to where he can read a, a lot more independently and I think that he will really enjoy this. And then also his chocolate coins. Okay, so the next son that I have, the fourth son I have is actually only 18 months old. So I'm going to share what's in his stocking. Um, so the first thing is his little fruit leathers he can eat these as well um, and then I got him a little box of goldfish and then his book is biscuits pet and play farm animals and it's a touch and feel book and then the next thing I got him was this Mandalorian shirt is as cutest in the galaxy <laughs> And I'm going to put that in there because actually he really needs clothes. He's been growing a ton. So, and then I also got him, we are loving these just really simple recycled. They're made by replay, but they're recycled sippy cups. Um, and you, I just get them at Target and they're only like $2.99 for one of them. Anyway, so I got him a new one because they're great and we always need a sippy cup. And then I, I, I also got him this cute little, um, he loves anything that goes, um, but it's this cute little tractor from Little People, and it wasn't very expensive either, but when it rolls, the front of the tractor goes back and forth like this. I just thought that was so cute. He's going to love it. So that is what's in my boy's stockings. Now let's move on to the girls. All right, so we're going to start with my youngest daughter. She is three. And um, so here is what is in hers. So she has her little fruit leathers, of course. And then I actually got her a box of goldfish as well. Um, her little chocolate coins. And then in the Target dollar spot, they had this little thing of hair ties for just a dollar. And she loves pink. And so I got her that. They also had, um, so this is not crayons. This is actually Band-Aids so random that it's Crayola crayons. There's no significance to that, but I did get her the band-aids out of the dollar spot at Target because y'all, she is obsessed with band-aids. She always has something she has to put a band-aid on and she uses my expensive band-aids. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab these cheapies right here and she can go to town. So I got her those for a dollar from the dollar spot. Um, and then I fa actually found these at Ollie's. Um, for only $2.99. I was so excited about that. But it's these little scribble scrubbies that are made by Crayola. 
where you can draw and scribble on them and then you just scrub it away under water and then you can do it all over again. So I know she's going to love that. It's a kitty cat. She loves cats. Um, so I got her that. And then for her book, she actually really, really loves to listen to me and Sophia read the Sophie Mouse books together. So I got her this one. This is Sophie Mouse Forget Me Not Lake. So this is a really cute series if you haven't ever heard of it. Um, huge fans over here. It's precious. For my last child, which is my oldest daughter, she is six. This is what is in her stocking. So she also has the coins and the fruit leathers and then I got her one of the little scribble scrubbies as well because I was like you know what my girls are gonna love that and for $2.99 yes I will take it so she has the little bunny rabbit I thought that was so so cute so I got her that then from the Target dollar spot they just had like one of those multicolored pins where you push the little things down has a unicorn on it. It was a dollar. She loves anything having to do with like doodling and drawing and things like that. So I knew she would love that. And then I got her some little hair ties as well. She loves purple. So I got her the purple ones. Um, and then for her food treat, she actually really likes gummy worms. So these are our favorite gummy worms over here. So I got her those for her stocking. And then for her book, she actually has The Critter Club, Ellie the Flower Girl. And I know she will love it. I thought that was so cute looking. And I think I actually got her one more thing than everybody else. But like I said, it's fine. Nobody's even going to care or notice. Um, but she always asks me. I'm not even sure why. She has beautiful nails and I paint them for her and everything. But she just really wants to try stick on nails. I don't I don't even know how she knows about them. Maybe she saw them like one time when she went to the store with me. But that's all I hear about you guys. Every time we go to Dollar Tree or Walmart or anything, she's like, can I get stick on nails? So when I was at Target in their little girl section, they have like all those little accessories and everything. And they had this set of sparkly stick on nails, press on nails. Um, it, I think it was only like, yeah, $5. So I was like, you know what? I will get her those just because it's something she just is fascinated by and always asks about. So anyway, so that is what is in her stocking. That is what is in everybody's stocking. I hope this was helpful for you guys. We don't do anything over the top. It's just a stocking. Um, <laughs> But I hope this gave you some ideas. Like I said, we always have an apple and an orange in the toe, always have chocolate coins, and always have at least a book. And then anything else is extra. I usually try to do special treats and things like that that they enjoy. Another thing I will do is once everything is stuffed, I will stick some little candy canes down in each one, um, just kind of sticking up out of the top. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Make sure to head over to Rachel's channel and check out the playlist down below. And I hope you guys have a blessed day and a very Merry Christmas. Thank you.